you. I hope you've all caught your breath. I barely caught mine. We're still live here at Foster Ross Stadium. A pussy. As the case of Chiefs laid the gauntlet to both their Gauteng, much more closer to home. Yes, so it arrivals. Orlando Pirates leapfrogging them in the business now for getting uh, the job done on the Vitz, exerting revenge the last time. Damn it, of course, it was a 4 1 win. Easy pickings and uh, does uh, what he does best. Control things. Oh, a mistake. Sebo Totezi. Sebo Totezi with a right little smile. No one between that. Peke Kasla Kunduan. He was very lucky not to concede the timber. But you know what I can tell you is the pitch is very much bumpy. Oh, mistake there uh, from uh, Lesiane. An opportunity for the Shalele. Scuffed his lines though in it. I fell so fortuitously into Mango's feet. His twin brother Waver is just shaking his head. Former Bloom Celtic man had his moment. But that all came from Downs getting themselves in trouble. They were now studying that combination play, the movement, very much effective. Unfortunately, Salele couldn't direct the ball into the net. Now Baliso looking to bypass the Downs. Centre-backs, he does that well. Baliso, he has some back paddling. The ball goes in. Took a bubble. Glenn Bikes, we mentioned the tricky conditions that the pitch has provided. Now, that was tricky play from Yanga Baliso. He says, from Kugula to with love in a nineteen top. That's Pirates. who hit the early front. Mamelo de Sundowns back peddling like they did. When they consider that goal, I told you about uh, young Apali. So he's a good ball carrier, composure, comfortable on the ball, making that run alone, and eventually slotting the ball inside the back of the net. Look where how he ran with the ball in in the middle, and Tendo failing to close him down quickly. In fact, it's not Tendo. It's, it's in Umalo. Yeah. I beg your pardon. Of course he. Looks for the man with the confidence flowing. Baliso almost released the hammer. Oh, that's what confidence does for you, Mutumelo. Younger Baliso, the manner in which how he glides and oozes in the pitch today. Now, here's a man that hasn't really fell for Togazani Sukotron. Sukotron gives it for Giovanni Filenda, who twists and turns. The ball just would not turn. Inside of the post, the former Kensington High scholar. Kasla Koshem, by a tandy party. Now, Bali so looking to end off a thing sweetly. He gives it to Grant Peters. Doesn't need much of an angle to work with. Heads over to the bench to say, You can always trust him, Grant. Younger Baliso turning from goal scorer to creator, but that was all Grant Peters' clever work at the near post. Then Baliso is beaten twice. Look where it all began. Younger Baliso again. Mamilo Sundowns players not pressurizing him. He made that run similar to the first one. Now this time around, Grant Peters putting up the pieces of the puzzle together and finishing off in style. Boys upstairs think to think the free Tiana bit got caught in a particular one there by Young Abali. So oh, that's a bit on the soft side. Now Martin Baliso Baliso takes it quickly down snapping. Are oh, they gonna get punished? They do with the swing of a boot. Chiefs got team, Paris got team, and it's the number three, Ramit Ramakapeng, who finds the hat trick of goals for the five skippers. Downs. Bullied, battered, and permused. David Natwani, what is going on? No communication. The keeper didn't even look convincing. And uh, Rianetswe, shoes, a powerful strike inside the back of the net. Their coach has made my heart jump and kick it, kick it, it, Hemba. A sublime finish. There's confirmation. Young Abalis has started off with a one goal. Peters, the ever, the predator, Ramakapeng with a shift of the left foot. 3-0 is how it's ended.